Hi, I'm Art Brooks. Welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight is International Observe the Moon tonight at the Clovis uh, Carver Library here in Clovis, New Mexico. This is where we're at, Clovis Carver Library. This and we're going to be observing the moon. There's a moon uh, during the first quarter we'll be observing it, as well as observing Saturn and Jupiter and a, and a variety of deep space objects. This is hosted by the uh, Clovis, New Mexico Astronomy Club. Right now, we're both our president and vice president or president are setting up their telescopes. And shortly, I'll get a uh, description of their telescopes. It's a five, it's a one of the it's a 106 FSQ Takahashi. It's uh, designed for astrophotography. Uh -huh. uh, the mount is a Paramount MIT mount uh -huh. uh, made by Software Disk and. Uh, it's a high-end mount, and uh, when things are working perfectly, I don't need to guide. Which okay. is a critical thing to do when you're taking images. You have to guide because no, no gears are right or anything. No such thing as a perfect gear. Yeah. So, so it tracks automatically. There's no equatorial mount. It is equatorial mount. It, it is equatorial. But, it, but like I said, it, it, it figures out most of the errors. Okay. And then if you have a small periodic error, which you, you apply to it, Okay. It yeah, should so go for at least 10 That minutes. is equatorial mount right there. The yeah. axis that rotates with the Earth's rotation. This is, right now I'm just trying to get lined up. Okay. Of course, it doesn't have an eyepiece installed, but he has a camera installed on the back end. You can view the images on a laptop computer. So we'll go to Gary, our vice president, have him describe his scope. Yeah, describe again. Yeah, how's it going? We're all set up here. We're just gonna have to put that camera connected to the laptop. You can actually see the moon through the eyepiece there if you want. Yeah, it's already set on it, so okay. Yeah. yeah, this is a fully automatic self-setting scope. It's a celestial and sky sick. Well, that's the GPS. Yeah, the GPS. Which so, so what you have here is the Celestron next to it. Um, evolution Altaz mount. Okay. Um, you can I'll do a, 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 what's called a solar system align, which I did just do an alignment on the moon because the GPS takes in today's time and date and location which is one of the things that the hand controller needs in order to know what it's pointing at. Okay. Okay, so once we do the alignment on the and, and it enters into the hand controller, it can guide us like if I want to go to Jupiter or Saturn, which we will tonight, yeah. we can go there fairly accurately. Yeah, just a telescope. I would consider if I were, if I were to get one. Yeah. Yeah. Later on, yeah, later on, we're going to have family, uh, you know, other adults going to show up to join in with our activity and get their reviews. So, as it gets dark, we'll continue. Okay. Right now, I'm on TikTok, and this is the planets uh, effect, which you point your camera to the sky and it displays a close by object, Jupiter, the Moon. Keep turning around, you see deep space objects such as nebulas, galaxies, the moon again, as well as uh, everything nearby trees, buildings, uh, people, if you uh, still show up. It'd be nice if we could view the planets this close. As you can see on the screen. Oh, yeah. TikTok planets. Most of you the planets compared to it's a TikTok that played its effect. <laughs> Jupiter, the moon, as you turn it up, galaxies, deep space objects. Very cool TikTok filter. So, right now it's like blue showing up better. Let's zoom in on it. Almost the first quarter. And uh, some people are starting to show up, so. More to, show, more to show up later on. Hey, just had a small a young family show up. Like it's brought, they brought their own telescope. Another, family, another second family has shown up. So we'll get, take a better look at his scope. What the features are. It's a bead refractor scope. How, how much power is it? 70, I think. 70? Okay. Yeah. 
Rock is with Rick here. He's uh, well, I guess he's still getting his still on the moon. Y'all can see if I can get a uh, view of the moon through this. Uh, well, oh boy. Do you have a full view of the moon in there right now? Yeah, it shows you. Yeah, it shows you. Yeah, sure, you have, I can see the craters along the limb. Uh, fairly decent view for now. Yes, you have to take, take it further away. Yeah, there you go, full view. Still not ready for viewing here. Roy now has a view of the moon on his uh, laptop computer. Showing real well, showing good detail. Yeah. Look to the uh, southeast uh, sky and upward. We'll see uh, Saturn. Saturn just barely showing uh, up. See if I can zoom in on it. Yeah. Pretty cool. There it is, right there. In the center of the screen, you can see a little white dot. That is, that is Saturn. If we look to the east, we should see uh, Jupiter. Yeah, there it is. There's Jupiter. We're looking all the straight east. Traffic going, you can see it in the middle of the screen. I'll zoom in on it better. And that is Jupiter. Later on, we'll be getting views of it. I'll you show views of it through the telescope on my camera. So, keep on watching for that. Right now, we have kids and lust in their views of uh, the road. So, each one will come around and get their own view. So, keep on watching. Yeah. Four kids get their view of the moon. Another girl gets her view. Did he actually get to see the blue spot? Yep. Well, young mother's getting her view. Oh, wow. Another girl getting her view. This gentleman is getting his view. See this young lady taking a picture of the moon using her smartphone <laughs> phone camera. Which I'm doing anyway as I'm doing my videos. Right now we've got kids getting their view of uh, Saturn. They're all uh, standing in line here waiting to get their view. And if we, got, we change the uh, eyepieces, so I might be able to try to get a better view of uh, Saturn on my uh, camera. We'll see you in time. <laughs> You're right here having a young girl who's getting her view of Saturn. Getting down the ladder. Even uh, Bradley's mother getting her view. We'll see if we get a better view than I did before. Yeah, there it is. Go, just got yeah, much better view. Very good, very good. Much better view than before. Seems centered. Show centered on my display. He's uh, currently just uh, fine adjusting his scope. What are you doing? So others can also get their very fabulous view of Saturn. Right now, Gary has a scope set on Jupiter. So Jupiter is up there in the middle of the screen. Zoom in on it. We had to move the uh, telescope because of uh, the telescope due to this uh, spruce tree blocking the view. So as soon as these uh, kids get their view, I'll. Uh, Put my camera lens on and see if we can view it. Okay, we'll see if I can get uh, my camera view of uh, Jupiter here. Easy does it. Here it is. Yeah, sure good. Capture here. You can see Jupiter with at least one of its uh, Galilean moons. 
maybe two of them. That's about the best I could do. Maybe get a better view if we change uh, eye le eyepiece lenses. Okay, we'll try again, get a view of Jupiter. Yeah. Hey, look, let me make sure it's in the center of there for you. Sure, oh. go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Now with that filter in there, I might dim it out a little bit. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not much better than before, but that's about the best I could do. What's the magnification of so See if we can get a better view of a cheap here. Divide, 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 divide 15. Here you are, you got at least one or two uh, moves showing up. And that's the magnification. Oh, it's got two moves showing up. That's yeah. the best I could do. Right now it's well past nine, and many of our guests have left. And so this one will uh, conclude the. Uh, recording this video. This will also be our final uh, club activity for uh, this year, 2022. And until May of next year, that's when we begin next year's activity season. So until then, y'all yeah, look forward to the videos I'll be producing. I'll be there at those events making videos. So thanks for watching and please do subscribe. Thank you.